So Baby Audio have just released their very first synth, the BA-1. Now, I'm a big fan of Baby Audio plugins. I use a lot of them within my tracks, and they sent me over this new synth to have a play around with and see what I thought of it. And I thought, well, rather than just do a review video, which there are probably plenty on YouTube already, I thought I'd actually try and make a track with this new synth. I'm gonna try and use it as much as possible for all the different parts and just see what I come up with. Okay, so first I'm definitely gonna need some drums. So I'm gonna get XO up and get a kick drum, at least a kick drum in there. I think I also want to get a hat in there as well, just to give it a little bit of swing, a little bit of something. Right, got some basic beats in there. Let's drop the BA1 onto the bass track. Now there are a whole load of great presets and I haven't really spent that much time with this plugin so far, but honestly, just scrolling through some of them, there's some really inspirational sounds in there. So I'm going to dive straight for the bass category. Quite a wide range of sounds as well, not just like the usual kind of synth sounds. There's some 808 kind of sounds in there, some real square kind of raw sounds in there. Quite a wide range of different sounds in there. You can really hear that kind of wow and flutter on that preset. Now, probably not going to get into every control on this video because that's not the purpose of it. But one of the controls I love in here already is the battery control. Now, what this does is it sim simulates the synth running out of battery. So you can have a 100% battery, which makes it sound quite clean. But then when you decrease this, it starts to add wow and flutter and filters and things like that to make it sound like it's running out of battery. So on 2% battery, you can kind of hear like bit reduction in there. You can hear filtering going on. You can hear wow and flutter. It's it's very much a lo-fi kind of effect. And I can imagine on certain kind of design projects, that's going to sound really cool. Now, this plugin does have a whole load of great presets. And I usually start from presets because it's just an easier place to start from. You find a sound that you kind of like and then tweak from there. And I know going through here, I saw the Sam Rabia section. And there's some really nice sounds within here. I actually found a bass in here earlier. It's a real nice kind of plucky kind of bass sound. It almost reminds me of an old like uh, Roland SH-101 or something like that. I want to do something with that, I reckon. It's got a very kind of housey sound to it. That kind of groove is quite nicely. I'm actually going to tweak the sound a bit. I think I want it to be a little bit longer than that. Not quite sure I want the delay either. It's quite nice. There's a whole like effect section within here and it's really powerful. I just think on this sound, I don't really need it. Okay, so that bass is bumping quite nice. I'm going to get some stabs in now, I think. So again, I'm going to load the BA1 onto here. I'll just copy that MIDI over, I think, actually. Let's try and find a different patch for that. I think I might jump into the keys and organs. Let's have a look at this. I think I just like that one, that first one, cheap keys. That's really nice. Yeah, it's sounding really nice. Let's try tweaking some of the controls within here. That 
that squeaky sound is coming from that resonance there. It really sounds nice. I really like that there aren't that many controls here with the effects. For the delay, there is just the amount and the length. So you don't really have a timings control, although the length kind of has that kind of timings control within there. So I don't know whether it's uh, the length of the timing or whether it's the length of the delay, for example. I don't know, but it just kind of works. I kind of like that fact that you don't have that many controls. You can just dial in some good settings really fast. I think next I want to kind of find a pad like kind of sound. So I'm going to duplicate those keys and let's see what we got in the way of kind of pad sounds. It does seem to do brass sounds really nicely within here. I don't want a kind of stabby sound, so I might just uh, decrease that envelope on the filter and just open the cutoff slightly. We've got very simple LFO here, literally just speed and amount, and then you need to send it to the pitch of oscillator one, or to the filter. So at least you get some kind of movement within there. I might, I might actually send it to the filter. Just some real subtle movement in there but also you could use that battery control to kind of give it a bit of flutter or wow as well it really does kind of break up when you start lowering that battery too much maybe on a nice kind of pad you don't really want that Okay, so next, I think I want to put a lead in there of some sort. I think I want to try something a bit like a kind of acid -y kind of line, so kind of have it just jumping around. <laughs> quite cool but I want to change over the sound let's see what other presets we got within here <laughs> mute this pad for a moment. I'm going to call this lead. That's a really nice kind of synth wavy kind of sound. Again, this synth kind of really shines on those brassier kind of sounds. I really like the way the pitch bends in that preset. It's all from the first parameter on this synth called Glissando, which is very much similar to Portamento. So if you're used to using that on other synths, it's very much the same thing. It kind of bends the pitch in between notes. I'm not actually sure what the difference is between the two, but it does a very similar kind of thing. I think I'm gonna tweak this and take away some of those effects though. So.
might take that down an octave as well. tweaking but I'm kind of getting an idea there. I'm going to put a bit of ducking on it as well. Might just change up those drums a little bit. Still not 100% on that lead, but I'm liking how this is sounding so far. In fact, I might actually bring a vocal in just so I've got something in there to kind of get an idea of where I'm going with this kind of track idea. So I've just found this vocal a while ago. I'm not quite sure about that vocal. I'm going to try and find a different one. You know what? Even that first one kind of works. It's got that kind of rhythm to it that I like. Kind of want to make this a bit quicker as well. I'm going to set this up to 129 maybe. You know what? I'm pretty happy with that track idea. I think that one's got legs and I can't believe I actually use that BA1 to pretty much make most elements within that track. I can't think of many other synths that I personally would use to make every single part of a track. Sure, you definitely can do it with probably a load of the synths that I have, but I tend to find that certain synths that I got suit certain sounds, or at least that's how I kind of use them in that way anyway. But the BA1 is really quite versatile and it's got a really nice sound to it from that initial kind of bass preset that I found, which I'm definitely going to be using on several tracks going forward to some of the brassy kind of stuff within there and even some of the plucks and things like that. It definitely shines on that kind of brassy kind of sound. I guess that's where the original synth was kind of based on, the old original uh, Yamaha unit that it was based on. But I'm really impressed that it's Baby Audio's first synth and they've kind of knocked it out of the park, which they have done with a lot of their plugins recently and I love them all. But yeah, I definitely recommend picking this one up because at the price it is at the moment and the sounds that come out of it, honestly, it feels like a no brainer to me. <laughs> 